Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. Today I will share with you one DAX based problem which was asked in the Power BI interview at Capgemini which is a MNC you all know. This question was provided by one of my connections on LinkedIn. So thought of creating a video on that so that you are also aware about it. So let's start the video and before that if you're new to the channel then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos because the content like this you will not find anywhere else on YouTube. At the same time, you can also follow me on Instagram, Learn with Gigs, where you will find job related updates regularly as well as short videos on data analytics domain. So what was the question? Basically, it is also visible on the screen. There is a VMart store, okay, in different locations of country India. And the interviewer wants that you have to write the DAX code to calculate the total sales contributed by females from the states like Karnataka, Maharashtra and Gujarat. This is what is the question. Now let me show you the data that I am using it here. So this is the data. You can clearly see I have one customer column, a gender column, a city column, a state column and an amount column. In real time projects also, this can be a scenario where you have to calculate some kind of KPI with the situation like this. Okay. And if you can see it here, apart from Ankur, all other customers are females. And if I talk about Maharashtra, so we have two records of Maharashtra, we have uh, two records of Karnataka here and here and one record of Gujarat. So if I sum up the total amount, so Maharashtra is 500, 200, that means 700, Karnataka 300, that means 1000, then Gujarat plus 500 means 1500 and Karnataka again plus 600, that is 2100. So 2100 is the so total sales contributed by females from these three states. So this is what we have to calculate through a DAX code. Okay, so we know the result that is 202100. 20, we have to calculate it through a DAX code. Now let's create a measure how we can do this. So let's give the measure name as total sales. Okay, total sales equal to. So I think many of you will be able to write the DAX code for this particular scenario. For this, I will first make use of calculate function. Okay, calculate the total sales, which is my amount column. For that, I will make use of sum function over here. Then after that, amount column. This will calculate the total sales. Now I have to calculate the sales of the female candidates and which are who and who are from basically Karnataka, Maharashtra and Gujarat. So for that here, first of all, I will make use of filter function. Okay. Why I'm using filter function so that I can optimize my DAX code. Okay. I'm not writing the condition directly. I'm making use of filter function so that it returns the subset of the table and on top of it, it does the sum of sales amount. Okay. Now, Filter function takes two arguments. One is the table. So my table name is sales comma. Then here you can give the filter expression to give the filter expression. I will first make use of gender column, right? Because you have to see who are the females here. I will make use of F. Okay. And at the same time, so I will make use of and updated two times here over here. My state column. Okay. My state column, which is this. Now my state column has to be three choices right so for that i will make use of here in operator okay sales state in then curly brackets then my first state which is uh, karnataka then my second state will be maharashtra okay maharashtra maharashtra and my third state will be gujarat right so this is gujarat i will close the curly bracket i will close the bracket for filter function and then I will close the bracket for calculate function. So pretty much straightforward. Here is the DAX code making use of calculate function, sum of sales, filter function, filter the table where the gender is female and at the same times state should be from among Karnataka, Maharashtra and Gujarat. So this is our DAX code. Let's see what does the result comes out to be. If it comes to be 2100, that means our result is true. And this is what the code should be written in front of the interviewer. Now let us see what is the result. And if you watched the video till now, so do hit the like button of this video because it is completely free for you and your one like will give me the motivation to create more videos like this. Okay. Now let's see the measure. What, what does it show as its value? So I will make use of card over here and you can clearly see it has the value 2100. So I hope it is clear to you now. So thanks for watching the complete video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.